The New South Wales Science and Technology Syllabus includes a Stage 3 outcome from the Australian curriculum. Implement digital solutions as visual programs involving branching, iteration and user input. So what does this look like? And how can New South Wales classroom teachers create opportunities for students to accomplish this outcome? The STEM Share project offers teachers a number of opportunities to do just this. A visual programming language is a graphical drag and drop interface used to order and combine computer programming commands. A generic name for this programming environment is called Blockly. Lots of companies and products have their own version of Blockly, including robots in the STEM Share kits. Let's have a look at Scratch, probably the most common version of Blockly and part of the virtual coding kit. This is a project I did with Year 5 classes. All of the students could accomplish this and most went on to add other features like timers, scores, music and levels. It's a two-player race to get to the finish line and avoid the garden beds, the green sections. So, what does user input look like? This is when the actions of a person determine the behaviour of the program that is currently running. In this case, it is the keystrokes. Every time the up arrow is pressed, the character is pointed in direction 0 degrees and moves 5 steps. This game accepts user input from 8 keyboard keys. Branching occurs when a specific set of instructions is triggered by a particular event. Unless that event occurs, that set of code will not be executed. In this case, the branch is about what happens when the dog and the fox reach the home base. A sound is played, some text is displayed, and a delay occurs before it all happens again. This is a short and simple branch. Iteration, or loops, occur when a group of commands are repeated. Sometimes loops exist to make a program more efficient and compact. Other times they are conditional and are only triggered by a particular event. In this project, there are two loops. The inside loop draws the hexagon, while the forever loop keeps the hexagon moving. Don't forget to share inspiring student work samples with the STEM Share community, either via Twitter or the Yammer Groups.